Hi, this is Sir Jet for another episode of the Contemporary World Lectures. Today, our lesson is about nation and state. This lecture will help us be familiar with some terms that will be often mentioned in our discussions in the days to come. So this is like a leveling off session so that we will be on the same page. Whenever I mention the word state and nation, you know what it means. Are they the same? State and nation. We often hear them from our social science classes. For laymen, these two terms are synonymous or the same. But for you, contemporary world students, there is a big difference. The state. Let us have a textbook definition of the state. Then later on, we will compare this to nation. So a state is defined as a community of persons, more or less numerous, permanently occupying a definite portion of territory, possessing an organized government to which the great body of inhabitants render habitual obedience and free or nearly so from external control. It's quite long and fancy, so I, I will try to make it simple by uh, highlighting four words, and you can see them there on the slide in red. Persons, territory, government, and free. And these are the four elements of a state represented by the four images that you can see. When I say element, that means if one of them is missing, then that place is not a state. It has to have all the four elements, people, territory, government, and sovereignty. So let's discuss them one by one. The first element of the state is people. And it is defined as the mass of population living within the state. No people, no state. So you need to have people in order for a place or in order for uh, something to be called a state. Take the case of Antarctica. It's a continent at the uh, bottom of the earth, but it has no people. So Antarctica is not a state because it lacks the first element which is people now the smallest state in the world in terms of population is the vatican it has a population of just 900 can you imagine that there are more malayans in campus than there are in that state now the largest state in terms of population is china which has more than 2 billion population and where's the philippines we are somewhere in the middle. We had a uh, 100 million population in 2016. By now, it's probably close to 110 million. Now, the second element of the state is territory. Territory is defined as the land that the people occupy. So, no land, no state, even if there are people. Okay, so there are there, there are cases where in there are people but they don't have a territory huh how can that happen well an example is Israel or the Jews they are a people group one century ago they were scattered all over the world they don't have a land they are just a people it's just in 1948 when the United Nations assigned a piece of land in the Middle East to be the homeland of the Jews. So this land was granted by the United Nations to the Jews and then they invited all the Jews from all over the world to come and settle in that piece of land which we now call Israel. So uh, a century ago the Jews were a people 
without territory so they were not a state then they only became a state in 1948 the third element of the state is government the government is the agency through which the will of the state is expressed formulated or carried out usually named after the name of the country so government is an agency it's an office and that office carries out the will of the state example would be the philippine government or the u.s government they are offices or organizations of leaders running the show so no government no state even if there are people and territory there are cases wherein there are people they have a territory but they don't have a government uh, take the case of uh, my high school barcada which uh, we call ourselves the book boys uh, we are a people and we have a territory the high school basketball court is ours but we don't have a government we're just a group of basketball loving teenagers who wanted to play ball after school and we don't have a government among ourselves so we cannot be called a state the fourth element of the state is sovereignty and it is synonymous to freedom now no sovereignty no state even if there are people territory or government so there are cases wherein you have the three elements of the state but they don't have the fourth one which is sovereignty take the case of uh, Tibet okay this is the map of Tibet once upon a time it's a state it's an independent state right there in Central Asia they have a government they are they have people called Tibetans they are free from external control they have their territory but in 1950 they were invaded by China and the government of Tibet exiled to Nepal and so they lost their sovereignty in 1950 so Tibet now is just a province of China they there are people they have a territory they have a government in exile and they don't have sovereignty so Tibet is not a state anymore another case is Guam a little island over here uh, on the east of the Philippines and Guam is not a state they have people they have territory they have a government but they are under the government is under the United States of America so Guam is not a state now there are two aspects of sovereignty internal sovereignty and external sovereignty internal sovereignty is when people obey their government and it can be lost sometimes like uh, our experience during the EDSA revolution when all the people in the world would not obey Marcus and his government so in that case we can say that uh, Marcus has lost his internal sovereignty external sovereignty is what I have been talking about a while ago the freedom from external control like the case of China controlling Tibet and the USA controlling Guam and external sovereignty is the fourth element of the state now sovereignty also means independence when we were a Spanish colony we don't have independence so we were not yet a state at that time we only became a state when we were totally free in 1946 uh, Hong Kong isn't independent because China governs it so Hong Kong is not a state all right so let's review the four elements of the state people can you recall number two is yes you're correct territory number three is very good government and the fourth element of the state is all right you're correct sovereignty so without one it's not a state 
remember that so let's now go to the sec oh we have some questions okay so let's uh, test your critical thinking um, is California a state okay so this is the map of the United States United States of America and here is California there are many other states like Texas and Arizona now uh, is California a state the answer is no it's not a state even though they call themselves the 50 states of America because technically the 50 states of America are 50 provinces of America they just call their provinces states in essence they function as provinces because they lack the fourth element of the state which is sovereignty so there are people in California they have a territory they have a government but his uh, government is under a higher government so California is not a state how about Japan Japan is a state because it has the four elements of the state there's no other higher government ruling over Japan is Mamate the state it's not a state because yes it has a government there, we have a barangay government uh, ruling Mamati there are people territory but no sovereignty there are higher governments over Mamati like the provincial government and the national government of the Philippines is MCL a state well we we are people we have our campus as our territory we have our government the deans have their rules um, but we are not a state because we don't have sovereignty All right so remember the four elements of the state lastly is Europe a state the answer is no because Europe is a continent with many states so France is one state uh, UK is another state Italy is another state Spain is another state and they are all in Europe so Europe is not a state because it's a place with many states now the second word that we need to talk about today is nation and I will show you that it's not synonymous to state all right so look at the pictures these are examples of different nations so we have here the Chinese nation we have the German nation and we have here an African nation and the definition of nation is a group of people bound together by common characteristics like physical attributes language origin traditions and who believe that they are one and distinct from others so a nation generally members of the nation they look alike physically they have the same language origin traditions or culture and the most important thing that uh, binds them together is this the feeling or the belief that they are one so when one Chinese meets another Chinese on the road they have this feeling deep inside their hearts that you me we're brothers or sisters we are one we belong to one nation same with the Germans when they uh, meet one another they have that same feeling you and me we are one and when they when a German meets a Chinese they don't have that feeling towards the other German will not say to the Chinese we are brother or sister because I have my own people and this is the German people and you are a different nation from my nation so as long as you have that feeling or the belief that you are one and distinct from other nations you together with the people who have that same belief as yours you are one nation together now nation is different from state because nation is nation even though they may not have a territory government or sovereignty okay 
So you can be a nation even though you are scattered all over the world like the Jews. You don't have a territory. Or uh, you are the Tibetans and you don't have sovereignty. You can be called one nation together. So as you can see of the four elements of the state, nation is synonymous to one of them and that is people nation is synonymous to people so therefore nation is just one of the four elements of the state the state is a larger entity having four elements and nation is just a portion of the state so we say the Filipino, Filipino nation is synonymous to the Filipino people, but not necessarily uh, synonymous to the Filipino state. Examples of nations. The Japanese nation. Okay, They have common physical traits. As you can see, they all look alike. They have the same language. They have the same traditions. Uh, they remove their shoes when entering the house. They eat raw fish and uh, you, you know the rest. Okay? They have the same culture. And they have the belief or the feeling that they are all one. Alright? They, when they meet each other, they have this feeling that you are my brother, you are my sister. And they are the Japanese nation. And when they meet another uh, people group like the Chinese or the Koreans, they have that feeling that you are different from us. Now think about this. Is there a possibility one state, one nation? Hmm. Thailand is one. So all the Thai people, when they meet each other, they have this feeling that they are one. So they are one state, one nation. And uh, Japan is an example I mentioned a while ago. How about one state with many nations inside it? Yes, the example is Israel. So this is the map of Israel. They have people, they have territory, uh, they have government and sovereignty. They are, they are one state, but there are two nations living inside this territory. And they are the Jewish nation and the Palestinian nation. Okay, so it's like two families living in one apartment. So you have two different families and they are sharing the sala, they are sharing the kitchen together. And that's the situation in Israel today. The Jews and the Palestinians are sharing this piece of land together and their government is just one and it's headed by the Jews. So, one state, many nations inside it. How about one nation, many states? Korea is that uh, example. The Korean nation. And the Korean nation is divided into two states. North Korea and South Korea. As you can see, the North Koreans look alike the South Koreans. Because they're just one nation. They speak the same language, they have the same family names, they have the same uh, lifestyle of eating kimchi three times a day. They are just one nation. When they meet one another, they will say, you're my brother, you're my sister, opa. And uh, it's just so happened that they have two presidents or two governments, two states. Okay, so North Korea is under, uh, who's this guy, uh, who, who is uh, uh, Ki Kim, uh, Kim Jong-il, is that his name? And then, uh, oh, Kim Jong-un, okay? And then South Korea has a, a different president. So there are two nations, I mean one nation, but two states. Another example is the Arab nation. So the Arabs is just one nation and they are scattered all over North Africa and the Middle East. But they are just one. When they meet one another, they can uh, say to one another, you're my brother. Okay? They have the same language. 
the same religion, the same uh, culture. It just so happens that they have different states, okay? Like Egypt, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Jordan. They are Arabs uh, with their respective uh, states, governments, but but uh, they are one nation together. Now, how about the Philippines? What do you think? Are we one nation, one state? Yes, we should be. But uh, there are a few people in Mindanao who don't consider themselves Filipinos. I had a friend in college who's like that. Uh, when he puts in his uh, registration form nationality, he, he doesn't put Filipino. He puts their Moro because for them, they don't consider themselves Filipinos. Uh, they they the reason is that they 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 feel that uh, they are a different nation from us uh, Filipinos and uh, so we our objective is to make them feel that we are one nation together so our objective here in our social science classes is to make them feel that they are not discriminated they are not second-class citizens. All of us people of the islands, even uh, people from Luzon besides Mindanao, we should be treated equally, nicely. Everybody here in the country is the same. We have the same uh, physical appearance. We have the same origin. We are all Filipinos. We should be loving one another and treating one another as brothers and sisters so that one day we can really say we are one nation one state the Philippines so remember that huh? we must show love to everybody in the Philippines to all the Filipinos because our objective is to strengthen our dear Philippine state and Philippine nation nation and state Again, let me uh, review. Nation has four elements. Can you recall? People, territory, government, sovereignty. And nation is just one of the four. Nation is synonymous to people. Now, in our next discussions, we will be mentioning we will be mentioning state, nation, very often. So today. We leveled off, we're on the same page, you know the meaning of nation and state. Alright, so keep on reviewing this video and uh, one day we will have a quiz about this. Alright, so this is Sir Jet saying goodbye and see you. Take care, be safe. I'll see you in our next episode.